10, tick, Matt, 10 games to go in the championship. Looting away today, Wednesday night, what are you thinking? Take a point, Ben, at the moment, which might sound a bit negative, but I think Luton are on a good run of form and it's such a difficult ground to play at. Really compact. Uh, you'll experience the away end for the first time in your uh, your young Bristol City career. Uh, so, yeah, I'll take a point in a minute, mate, but it'll be a tough game. And obviously, Harry Cornick hasn't had the best start in his time for us to see, but you know, coming back to his old stomping ground today, it's a chance to you know, show what he can do. Yeah, I, I mean, I've, I've said with Harry Cornick, you, you've got to give him pre-season and the start into next season. Um, I don't see him as a number nine, which Nigel Pearson clearly does, but I think playing him wide is the better option. And I'd actually start him tonight over Mark Sykes, as well as Mark Sykes has been playing. I do just fancy uh, Cornick tonight to stick one over on the Hatters. And obviously it's a, it's a tough, tough week for Bristol City. Swansea away on Sunday, Luton away to obviously today, two big away games. How many points are you looking to, you know, to come out of this week? You know, um, if we get to two draws, I'd be happy. Um, Swansea obviously aren't on the best run of form, um, but do play decent football, um, maybe not uh, in the final third where it counts most. Um, but yeah, I take two points. If we can get a win in either of them, obviously that's, that's you know, better than that. So um, I'd love to think we'll get two wins, but um, yeah, I'd take two points. And just as we are saying, that looks like the team bus is uh, arriving. Mark, we spoke last season when you were doing another one of your cycling challenges. You came to Ashton Gate, that ended 1 1. You've got another one coming up in April. Do you want to tell everyone a little bit about that? Yeah, definitely. So, uh, in April, I'm cycling to 116 football grounds uh, across the uh, Premier League, Championship, League One, League Two, and the National League. Uh, so, that's 2,500 miles in 34 days, uh, trying to raise awareness for prostate cancer, uh, for Mind, and for Teenage Cancer Trust. And obviously, Luton Town, you take on Bristol City today. Luton are doing quite well at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, we're like having a really great season. Fourth in the league, uh, just off the back of a great win at Sheffield United. So, uh, looking forward to a good game. It's always a good game when we play uh, you guys. So, uh, yeah, excited about tonight's game. What are you thinking today? Uh, I'm, go I'm going for a 2 1 win. Uh, Carlton Morris is absolutely on fire. I think he's the player you've. Uh, You've got to watch him and Jordan Clark are like the key players that are in form. Uh, so yeah, I think I think we're sort of trying to turn a corner with the home form, which has been a bit patchy this season. So yeah, we're hoping for uh, hoping for a two, well, a two a nice win would be nice, but I think two one there'll be goals tonight. I think maybe for both sides. And I'll put your link in the description where people can donate. Is there any target you're trying to get to? Yes, I'm trying to get to £15,000, so £5,000 for each each charity. So the, the website is markfootballcyclechallenge.co.uk. Yeah, they should have sold, my dad said they should have sold it last season. Cheers. Yeah, when they got the gate million, they should have Someone's back garden there. Entrance there. Just don't know if you can call it a concourse. Back garden there. Bit slippery. Back garden street. So you've got the arena over here, you've got like a old meat stand I guess, then you've obviously got that big stand over there, and then you've just got a row of hospitality boxes, mental crowd, look how close you are to the pitch, hell of an away day this one.
score here at Penrith Road is Simpton Town 1. This is Nicky Mill. Minutes to go, Josh. Can we do Come it? On, mate. Um, from watching the first or second half, probably not, but I'm gonna say yes anyway. Disgusting challenge. Free kick on the edge of the box. City fans not happy. 10 15 to go. Still 1 0. Added toy. You never know. It's a shame we've only started playing this second half. Poor first half, good second half. You know, goal early on killed us to be honest. Corner, Kabat gets some stick. 